Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Trips and Tricks. And somebody posted on Facebook how you'd get a star to look like this, a little bit of distress. And I did this in like two seconds and didn't really take in much time. I took a little bit more time on this one. It all depends on what you want to look at. And somebody, while I was working on it, I actually suggested this. I just took some wood grain and I bit mapped and I traced it. I kept a box around it and filled in some of the grains and got like this pattern. So there's a couple things you can do with this pattern. There's one, I'm gonna group it together and then I'm gonna draw it. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Let me get rid of that one. I'm gonna take this star. Let me make the star a little bit bigger. And I'm going to select them both and I'm going to <clears throat> do the opposite of that. And you have that. And then you can take your smart fill tool. Let's zoom in here a little bit and you can see it cut off one of the legs, but it all depends on what you want to do. You don't even have to use a smart fill tool in this situation because it's an object you could left click fill and make it black and right click the lines and you've got a distressed star. And that's pretty fun and, and interesting and you can do it another way and I just did one here. A um, little bit more fun, a little bit more artistic ability. Uh, draw a star out. And let's, uh, first of all, let's convert it to a curve. Now let's get the shape tool and let's select it all and let's add some nodes. That might be enough, but if you need a few more nodes in another area, you can always take your shape tool and just select a couple of nodes and add more nodes in that area. And then, because then you'll have a, a finer cut, move things around, um, you know, just move stuff a little bit, uh, move a couple at a time, uh, grab three and add nodes to it, get a lot of nodes. Whoop, I've got them all selected. Deselect and make just bring in and they, this way you're bringing in individual lines. Take the shape tool and maybe make a bigger one. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then he's got a couple lines in the center. I suggest just taking your ellipse tool. Don't hold down the control so it will not be perfect. Let's move it over a little bit so it won't be quite in the center. Go to object and convert it to a curve. Grab your shape tool, select it all, and add a bunch of nodes. And then you could take away from the from the nodes and, and make it a weird shape so it wouldn't be so perfect. And you could do that all over. I'm going to do a few more just to make it look good. So just remember, even though you've got just a couple of nodes on this wall, you can always add nodes and take nodes away. And we like just a, maybe a fine line. Let's even add a, another set of nodes in here. Let's grab these and, and get a bunch of nodes. So when now, when you do it, whoop, that wouldn't look that bad, but just select one of them and you're gonna get a tighter line. And you could also always, with the shape tool, expand that out, add a node there by just double clicking bring this node down, make it a little thinner. And you could do a lot with that. And then because you have that center circle, just use the Smart Fill tool to fill it in. Move your Smart Fill away. That way it won't have any outlines. And there you have a distressed star. And you can do it with the color in it to kind of see what you're gonna get. You know, you don't have to use that hairline but you can play around with this till the cows come home. Anyway, that's how I would do it. Hope that helps a little bit. Thank you for watching.